Hey YouTube! In today's video, we're going to discuss non-contact voltage testers. A non-contact voltage tester is a very nifty tool that allows the user to sense whether alternating current is present in an electrical circuit without the need for exposing copper and touching it to a test lead. When used properly, it can add a level of safety and peace of mind when dealing with electrical circuits. Now when I say, when used properly, I mean you should probably read the instructions. With the non-contact testers I've used, they all have stated that you should test it on a circuit that you are positive is energized prior to checking a questionable circuit, and you should continually repeat the process as you continue testing. Every device you come across may work differently and may be testing for different ranges of alternating current, so reading the instructions is a must. I should also note that electricity is pretty cool, but can also be fatally dangerous. Please do not mess with electricity if you do not know what you're doing. YouTube is great, but it is not a replacement for a certified electrician. So how does a non-contact tester work? It is actually pretty neat, and it utilizes properties of alternating current to make it happen. When someone is using the tester, they actually become the electrical ground that completes the circuit. Just so you know, I will be simplifying some of the things I'm about to say so we can keep this video short. But electricity is a very fascinating and complicated phenomena. Alternating current is an electric current which periodically reverses direction and changes its magnitude continuously with time. It is often represented with a sine wave. Electrical current is a form of energy and it is possible to transfer electrical energy from one source to another without even touching them together. Do you remember in science class holding a light bulb near a Tesla coil and watching it light up in your hand? Well, that is achieved through something called capacitive coupling. Capacitive coupling is the transfer of energy between two or more circuits induced by the electrical field. The two electrical circuits must be separated by a capacitor. Okay, so what is a capacitor? Well, I could say that it's two conductors separated by a dielectric medium, but that won't really help this discussion. So to simplify it, I'll just say a capacitor is a means to store energy. Kind of like a short-term battery. And fun fact, Ben Franklin called his capacitors electric batteries based on the visual similarities to naval cannon batteries. And that's where the term battery came from. The non-contact tester uses the principle of capacitive coupling to sense alternating current in a circuit. And as we just mentioned, capacitive coupling is two or more circuits separated by a capacitor. So where is the capacitor in all of this? Well, I guess there's two capacitors in this setup. One is the air and plastic between the non-contact tester and the electrical circuit you're testing. The other capacitor is you, the user. Humans are not great at storing electrical energy, but we can certainly do it. When using the non-contact tester, all that is needed is enough of a grounding reference to identify a circuit is present. The user should be grounded and isolated from the circuit they are attempting to test. When the user is not grounded or has the same potential as a circuit they are testing, then the tester doesn't work. Also, if you have the same potential as a live circuit, I would hope that you know about it and you're not using the non-contact tester for diagnostic purposes. What about direct current? Direct current flows in a continuous direction and does not have the same ability to couple with nearby circuits. Non-contact testers are not going to work in that instance. We will absolutely discuss more about electrical current in the future, but for now, that's all. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.